Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to another beautiful day here in New Orleans. So, you guys know we got the van back. We are feeling amazing about that. Well, you also know that we were in such a rush to get the van to the shop that we didn't clean. Been in Mexico for a long time, and it's time for us to do a deep clean. So that's what we're here doing today. We came to City Park and Gypsy is behind me barking because she acts as if she can't do anything without me in her sight. It's for another day. So anyway guys, we came out here to City Park and uh, we parked her up and we're just gonna take everything out and kind of really deep clean her because she definitely needs that after weeks and weeks and weeks in Baja and sand and everything else that's gotten into the van. It's time for us to clean this. So I think that we are going to start with, uh, we're going to start with the kitchen. But we should start with the kitchen anyway because it's a mess. <laughs> so I really feel like we need to start with the kitchen just because, just because I feel like the kitchen is a good place to start. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try and empty out the sink because right now there is, I don't know why some of the things that are in the sink are actually in there, but we're gonna empty out the sink and then we'll turn to the cabinets. We're gonna clean the stove and uh, then I think we're gonna head to the countertop. So let's see how it goes. Oh my god. Yeah, something's on growing it. on it. That's nasty. That is nasty. <laughs> okay, so in our defense, you guys know we were in a hurry to try to get the van to the dealership, so we didn't clean anything, clearly. But yeah, that's nasty. All right, so now I'm going to clear off the uh, one of our cabinets while Tanaj is uh, working on the sink because it's so much, uh, not so much space. We don't have enough space to work in the same area, so I got to do the uh, kitchen on the other side. I don't know what the hell I just said. Kitchen on the other side, Tanaj. All right, guys, the good thing about these, uh, the deep cleaning is that we're able to see stuff that we can't really see, even though we were living in a small space. Like I just found we had some uh, paint damage from some of our oils that we keep in the uh, cabinet. And you know you can't get oil on latex paint or it starts bubbling, so that's gonna be something that's gonna have to get repaired. You can see there's, right there. So this is basically everything that's in the first two cabinets. We got all our spices. And this actually comes from underneath the sink and it's kind of like our cleaning basket. It's so hot. I think I'm about to get naked. I am actually about to take off all my clothes and just work in the new. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm taking everything out of the drawers. I'm just gonna clean the things thoroughly. I'll let the utensils soak, I'll let the plates soak, and then I'll put everything back. I'm thinking that I might just rearrange things because there's a couple things in here that are in here and we haven't used, like we have at least 20 of these. Different shapes and sizes, but we only use two. So, you know what? They gotta go. Do you use this a lot? You gonna yeah, say yeah. I do. I knew I, he was I, gonna we, say <laughs> We use it, we use it to make our, our Well, clearly our we use this a whole lot because oh, uh, it's broken, yeah. So, the things that are broken, they're not going back. I'm throwing those away. I'm gonna make a pile of things that we could possibly donate and some things that are questionable in the van things that we could probably live without we are definitely getting rid of this because since we've been home i've actually gotten me another one and i will let faustino nowhere near that one i don't know if i told y'all yet but it's hot
now it's time to work on the second cabinet and that's where we keep basically more of our spices or because uh, the other half is kept underneath the sink. Uh, I've already started putting some of the things away. Uh, these little containers come in handy because we can put stuff inside the containers and it's a perfect height for our cabinets. That was loud. Okay, so I'm finally washing the dishes and I got me a little system going. Guess what? It's hot and I was going to try and wait until Gypsy stopped barking so that I can finish. But the longer I wait, the hotter it gets. So y'all about to get it with the barking in the background and everything. So like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. So I'm trying to conserve water because we're only starting off with 15 gallons to begin with. And uh, I put a little water and soap inside of the sink. So I got that in there while the dishes are soaking. And then I have a pot of water on the side, which I'm doing the rinsing with. And then I'm drying. So I got my little, my little system down. Yes. And I am ready to finish working. Do y'all see how hot it is? It's hot. All right. All right. That's the last time I said I swear. That's the last time I'm going to tell y'all how hot it is. Okay. Back to cleaning. Okay, so not only did we wash everything that was in the van, well, every dish and utensil that was in the van, but we also put them back. So after being on the road for about a year and a half, I think it's been about a year and a half that we've been on the road, well, about a year. After being on the road for about a year, we've realized that there's some things in here that we can definitely go without. So because we are kind of low on space to begin with, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take care of that now while I'm cleaning up everything. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have more space to put more things. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to debate right now on what I wanna do next. I don't know if I wanna tackle this bed, child, with all these clothes, or I want to, uh, take me a little walk to the living room <laughs> and here we are <laughs> yes the living room baby but uh yeah so i don't know i'll figure it out i'll figure it out i'm probably gonna help us you know and in the meantime i'll figure out what's next child because it's a lot it's so overwhelming and it's so damn but y'all thought i was gonna say it but i'm not y'all already know what it's hitting for all right <laughs> Uh, so next thing we're gonna do is gonna clean off the stove area and then our folding uh, countertop. So uh, it's, it's pretty nasty here. Let me show you. So before we go ahead and put the uh, baking powder on there, I'm just gonna try and clean off some of these crumbs and things. Ew. Okay, so the, oh, hold on, come on with me just a second. Ugh. Follow me camera. Those my New Orleans people, y'all know where I come from. So the stove actually is not as bad as we thought. So after I finished wiping it with, uh, with this paper towel, I'm still gonna go ahead and put some baking soda on it. Let it sit for a while and then scrub. The plan was to put the baking powder on there, put the vinegar on there, and kind of let it sit for a while, but my husband is so ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just put that, okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. So he just put the bacon 
powder on there and the vinegar and just start scrubbing so it's not gonna be as clean as I wanted it to be but I mean but yeah you get it tripping on me for <laughs> okay Whew. all right so after a brief little interlude we are back in the van child we cleaning but I don't know for how long because it's what it's hot <laughs> that's, the word for the day. that's the word for the day Day. It is what, kids? Hot. Ah. <laughs> Y'all see my kids a little slow. <laughs> so, we're back in the van after a, a quick little break, a much needed break. <sighs> we got a chance to stretch our legs and play with Gypsy, but um, now what we're gonna do is, I think Fasino just finished up with the front area, like the living room section of the van <laughs> and I am gonna work on the bedroom well I'm gonna finish working on the bedroom because I don't know it seems like I've been working on it for so long and it's just getting worse like oh oh what I ever finish you want to consider and then the video here and I'm, then just letting them know that uh, I don't think we have to later? no I don't think we have to end the video here yeah. but definitely we can end the day. day end the day we can end the day here because yeah we can I, I just don't want to do it anymore okay well let's end the day yeah well and then we can uh, continue tomorrow yeah so we're gonna pick this up tomorrow yeah okay so I think Gypsy would appreciate that. I definitely would. Pastino seems like he's completely down with uh, ending the day here and picking it up in the morning, right? Yeah, we definitely could do that. Uh, maybe we can have some breakfast tomorrow. Who knows? Mm. Let's see what we can find. Okay, well, we'll see what we can find. Deuces. Good morning, beautiful people. Hold on a second. Yeah. Okay okay good morning beautiful people so welcome back to city park so yesterday we kind of left off because you guys know it was getting uh way too hot out here and it was getting dark well no i'm lying it wasn't getting dark so you guys know that yesterday we were out here cleaning the van well it was getting way too hot so we decided to call it a day so it's about 7 30 in the morning the sun has not started to completely drain us yet so we're gonna see how much cleaning that we can do before uh yeah before we head in so to clean the floor we basically use this rejuvenate which is for uh wood floor paneling uh wood floor cleaners wood floor cleaner what is this wood floor oh so we used to clean the floor is, is this rejuvenate which is basically used for all those kind of floors that you kind of like just snap in you know you know what kind of floor I'm talking about it works pretty good so now that the floor is kind of done I didn't do all the floor I didn't do the hallway I just did like the little front area I don't know why so I'm gonna take out the nature's head uh, toilet right now that we really don't use and I'm gonna knock out the shower and then I'll be able to finish up on the floor because I don't you know I want to get the floor wet with the dirt on there but the nature's head is coming out right now. And this is what the shower looks like. So sand and dirt just finds its way in there. Don't know how, I, I guess it just does. So to disconnect this, we're gonna pull this out. So this is what's underneath the toilet or basically once the nature's head is pulled out. Uh, this is our pee funnel which can easily be removed by just popping that out. And this will be going outside and now we're going to clean this area up. All 
Okay, so I just finished up with the bed area. I put everything away. I made two piles, a pile that I'm giving away and a pile that I need to clean. Everything else went back into the cabinets. So now what I'm gonna do is probably uh, head up to the front because the cab area, yeah. Let's just say it definitely needs to be attended to. East Coast always in me, Commonwealth Lil Joe getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. Don't know I mean no stays. You won't in medicine. Okay. Let me back up a little bit. All right, so I just finished up with the upper cabinets, and um, I think I've seen those outside dealing with the toilet. All right, guys, so now that the uh, shower area is done, I'm going to now just bring the toilet to the back of the van, and I'm going to clean the toilet out really good, um, and then basically the base it sits on. All right, let's go do that. We're going to rainforest. So that's it. <laughs> All right. So the hardest part, I think, of uh, cleaning the, the van is the, the refrigerator. Um, it's heavy. It has to come out. It has to completely come out. It has to get unplugged. And it's kind of a tight situation. Get it? Tight. Small van. Anyway. You clean this? My poor dear. You did the living room? I did. The window seals and stuff? Yeah. You know, you can tell when some kids didn't have to wake up on Saturday in the morning with like old music because they don't like get the crevices, mister. I know he means well, but we can't say that this van is clean if it's not really clean. You know what I'm talking about? So he's, yeah, he's in here helping and I really appreciate it. It's just that the things that he does, I just have to go over them and he finishes. My dear, my dear. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, the refrigerator's been, uh, we didn't take the refrigerator out, we basically just cleaned it in place, uh, it's a lot easier. Um, now we're going to jump to this closet where everything always seems to shake up and move around and fall. This is always like a, a current trend with this closet, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is our uh, Wii Boost, which always falls, and I don't think it works. It is, it, there's nothing, uh, it's just too hot, everything always melts, so it always falls down. And see that it's a little bathroom area that needs to be worked on. So basically all this needs to be uh, cleaned up right quick. Alright, where's the alright guys, so <clears throat> we're just about wrapping up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put away this uh, trash in the trunk or in the basement or in the back, whatever you want to call this part of the van. And we're going to put up basically our laundry and our dirty blankets so we can always wash that later. Clearly we don't have a washing machine. And then that basically wraps up the outside. We probably just got to make up the bed soon and tidy up some things inside. 
and then we're done. So picking that up, put it inside. Weighted blanket is so heavy. Okay, so the last thing to do before we finish up is to actually make the bed. Making a bed, I feel, is the most difficult part about cleaning the van because you're already working with such a small space. So trying to get the covers correct and trying to get them tight on the mattress is hella hard. So we're gonna do that, child, and we're gonna be finished. Everything is content. Don't forget the post-it. Don't forget the post-it. Even this. This, my dear, is content. Stop messing with my butt, Faustino. That wasn't me, that was Juicy. I'm showing this cleaning? Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so. He is one of the ones that be hating on me. Look, Faustino, the hater. <laughs> I got my system. I got, oh, I was supposed to show my system. They be trying to hate on you, boo, boo, boo. That dude is a hater, y'all. When I tell y'all that dude is a hater, every time I pick up the camera, he start moving around and making all kind of noise, trying to distract me, but yeah. That's why I got a surprise for y'all. Guess what? Hmm, y'all gonna have to stay tuned to find out. Yeah, I got my dishes and it's soaking. And the pot with the water, I'm rinsing for a quarter. I'm drying over here. Oh yes, right here. And I'm recording over there. Faustino hating over there. Hating over here, <laughs> hating over here.